Hi, I'm Sierra Nelson, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about martingales. Um, you'll see a lot of colt starters start your two-year-olds in uh, a form of a martingale that kind of teaches them to carry their face down, but they can have their neck up. And um, for me personally, I like colts that ride like that. I don't want them overbroke in the face. Um, I don't want them to lope like a rainer with their head down in the dirt. I kind of like just the happy medium. Um, and for me, I usually take them out of that when I get them back from a cold starter because, you know, they would have ridden them in it enough that I don't necessarily need to continue to ride them in it. Um, so I'll usually take it off and I'll kind of go from there. Um, I'm not a real big bonnet person, uh, just simply because they don't necessarily feel like they fit my hands. They might fit someone else's and that's great. I'm not dissing them in any way, but they don't particularly fit me. I don't feel like tie downs fit me that great either. Um, I like to ride in tie downs at home. I like to uh, school my colts in tie downs or even my open horses. Um, but I feel like when I go to run one, I don't feel like I'm educated enough to know when one's too tight, when one's not tight enough, or I don't feel like I can get the happy medium that I'm asking for out of a tie down. So me personally, I really like to run them in a set of uh, training reins like these. For me, I like mine to be fairly loose. Um, I don't wanna run them and hook them up here to this last hole and when a horse feels like they need to balance with their head up and their butt down to leave a barrel, I don't wanna feel like they can't do that. Um, and so I kind of like my martingale to stay just a little bit loose. Um, I like this martingale in particular because it's got a knot here that I can slide to adjust how much it allows them to have. Um, I kind of like mine to be about halfway between the two, like that. And I particularly like it uh, to run in more so than train in because I don't want them to weigh in it. I don't want them to kind of get too pushy in it or too heavy in it. So I like more so to run one in it. And like when I lope this mare around, she doesn't feel like she needs one. She doesn't feel like she elevates her head too much. But when I get on the backside of a barrel, she wants to elevate and that's fine until we elevate and then we may pull off a barrel because we're running with our head up and we're not seeing where we're going and we can't focus on the task at hand. So I kind of like to keep this martingale on this mare in particular. She naturally has a little higher headset. I personally really like it with this clover bit because the clover bit gives me more options to run my rein through. If I want more bend and flex, I'll run it through this ring in the back. But if I want more lift and pull, I'll run it through the bottom ring. And for this mare in particular, I like it through the bottom ring in a smaller setup. When I get in a bigger pin, I like to switch it through and put it on the sides so that I have more, well, bend and flex. And for me, personally, this has been the martingale that's worked best for me. Um, I feel like a lot of people are afraid to use them. Just, they don't want their horse to kind of become reliant upon them. I feel like I've had more luck in a martingale than I've had in a tie down on a majority of the horses I've ridden. Um, growing up, I rode more horses in tie downs, but I had my dad there that I could be like, hey, should I take this up? Should I let this out? And uh, after 26 years, you'd think I would have figured out how to use a tie down properly, but I still have a brain fart every time I try to rig one up. and figure out if it's too tight, too loose, or if a horse truly needs one. 
Um, I do feel like sometimes tie downs can take the bend out of one and make one just a little bit too stiff because when they go in to turn and they go to leave the turn, they hit the tie down and they go to elevate and then they stall. And you're wondering why your horse is stalling. Well, you would think initially you're like, maybe it's his stifles, maybe he's got something wrong, but nobody really ever wants to think, well, maybe I just should take his tie down off and see what he does. Sure, he might climb out of the barrel a couple of runs, but when he figures out that he can finish where he needs to finish, maybe he would leave a little more level-headed and, and maybe my tie down's just useless.